Good day, I am Ma'am Nina and for today's session, we will be reviewing about context clues. Again, context clues are important words or phrases in a sentence that helps in identifying the meaning of a difficult word or term in a sentence. Let's have a quick recap of the seven types of context clues. First is the synonym or restatement clue wherein... It provides the synonym of words to provide the meaning of an unfamiliar word. Second, we have the definition or statement clue wherein it provides direct statement or meaning of the unfamiliar word. Third, we have antonym or contrast clue wherein it tells the opposite meaning of the difficult word. It shows contrast. Next is the explanation or example clue. It provides readers with varying examples to allow them to fully examine the unfamiliar words. Fifth, the cost and effect wherein it explains the reason and result of an event or action. Sixth, comparison or sameness clues presents the similarities in meaning or context. Last, we have the inference or general text clue wherein it provides the meaning of unfamiliar words that can be inferred or guessed from the description of the situation. Last week, you already answered learning tasks 1, 2, 3, and 4. For today's activity, we will be doing learning tasks 5 to 9. On page 10 of your learning module, you will see learning task 5 which states that Read the sentences below, identify the type of context clue used in each statement, write your answers in your notebook. So, on each sentence, you will see bold words or the highlighted words. For example, on number 4, capitals including Antipolo, Lucena, and Batanga City are considered a seat of political powers in their respective provinces. So, what is the bold word? capitals okay from the seven types of context clues we have discussed earlier or last week which do you think is used in this item very good it is explanation or example clue because it used the word including and it includes samples of capital of some places Okay, you may do the remaining numbers or items at learning task 5. Let's go to the learning task 6. Identify the meaning of each highlighted word above. Write your answers in your notebook. So, write the meaning of each highlighted word or bold words in learning task 5. For example, our word in number 4 is capital. So, what's the meaning of capital? It is a city where a region's government is located. So for each item, give the meaning of each highlighted word. Next, for learning task 7, using the highlighted words, write your own sentences. Example in number 4, the highlighted word is capital and we already know the meaning of it. So let's make a sentence. The capital of the Philippines is Manila. Provide your own sentence for each highlighted word. For task 8, identify the meaning of the underlined word in each item. Write the letter in your notebook. Write the answer of the letter. Number 1, the task of being a soldier is filled with inherent danger. You just have to choose from A, B, C, and then the correct answer is B, internal. Inherent means internal. For learning task 9, using the underlined words in learning task 8, write your own sentences in your answer sheet. Since you already know the meaning of the word inherent, let's make a sentence. The will to survive is inherent in all living creatures. Meaning it is internal in all living creatures to survive. Thank you for watching. You may... Start answering the remaining items for each task. Answer only.